Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam, WhatsApp in the comments down below. Feel free to join VIP. They'll be alerted whenever we get in and out of plays. Also, get your free stock from down below as well. Hit me up for a 15-minute, 30-minute phone call full of gems, full of value. Change your whole perspective on the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. Jump right into the video. Share with you guys what's coming prepare for what's about to happen. It's going to be a great deal of opportunity, which is already currently in the market, to invest and hold things in a separate portfolio for long-term gains and pay, um, uh, you know, better tax. Better tax is being paid on stocks after being held a year. So have another portfolio where you accumulate and buy quality companies like the Apples, like the Tesla, like the Walmart for so long. You know, don't buy those companies specifically. It's not financial advice. You can, but I'm just saying, you know, just let you know, have another account to where you're uh, accumulating quality companies for a great, great discount while you still can. And it's the, I believe the discount is only going to get better as well so don't try to rush into it and do it because do it gradually over time if you got two thousand you want to put into another account just put 500 there 500 there 500 there 500 there as it come down at different levels and that way you got overall price so anyways go ahead and take a look at it though guys and share with you guys share with you guys what's going on what is coming what's happening as we know it's a lot of stuff going on you're seeing weird stuff in the sky you're seeing all these collapse these uh banks start to collapse. You see uh inflation still a problem, interest rates, you see uh, you know, robots, technology advancement, uh evolution, robots, uh fully uh robot McDonald's and stuff, you know, crazy stuff going on. I'm just putting it all out there. But anyways, let's not get all over the place. Share with you guys, come back to the heart, to the core of what this is about, what's coming. So as we know, guys, this is all connected. As I told you guys, once one of these banks collapsed, Silicon Valley Bank, I told you guys it was going to be a domino effect and more banks were going to collapse as well. So as we know, another bank, Signature Bank, came behind that and collapsed. And another bank came behind that and collapsed. And then we started seeing that it's a possibility of over 186 U.S. banks at risk of collapsing, guys. So as we told, as I told you guys, I already knew this was bound to happen, right? Because as this started to happen, this is going to cause a major, major panic shift. What I told you guys previously, pay attention to the details of the video, the market could drop 30% from its lowest point. It's already drastically oversold. I know that. So I wouldn't be surprised if it like shoot out of nowhere and start on going a bullish run because it deserves it. It needs it. But I also know that theoretically the market wouldn't come as a surprise if it dropped another 30% from its lowest point. Just because the masses, the majority of the people wouldn't see it coming, wouldn't expect it from, you know, they just wouldn't, they just wouldn't see it. That'd be, it'd be perfect, a perfect setup, right? And plus, it's just going to happen economically through the data and what's going on with the next trigger that will fall into place for something like that to happen has now happened, which means, I told you guys, these people like, to have some type of narrative before things happen, before just making the letting the stock market drop thirty percent like that, and it's already down like hell, and then letting Bitcoin drop ten k, and it's already down like hell from sixty thousand, see six thousand, right? Instead of just letting it drop like that, we got to have something drastic happen within the economy that cause that make that happen. You get what I'm saying? And not saying they wanted this to happen in particular, but it was already going to happen anyway. But something else just came in and deviated their plan, which was TikTok. I know you guys are like, TikTok, why is this being brought up, right? So TikTok has a lot to do with these banks collapsing more than you think, right? Pay attention. So if we bring out the details, Hayes be doing his research for y'all so y'all won't have to. So as we know, guys, let's go back to the beginning. So let's see the first bank to collapse. Who was this, right? Silicon Valley Bank. So Silicon Valley Bank. Silicon Valley Bank, for the ones that don't know, it's a California headquarter organization that grew to become the 16th largest bank in the United States. And let's be specific here. Catering for the financial needs of technology companies around the world. So these 16th largest company in California, let's be more specific. 
they have lots of money and their accolades and their associates, and their business partners are your Facebooks, your Instagrams, your uh your your Twitters, <laughs> your all these companies that's losing shit loads of money. Google. All these companies that are losing shit loads of money to advertising agencies and companies are losing to TikTok. It's got a lot to do with money. Money and also control. They can't control TikTok and also it's taking a lot of money out of their pockets and they also not able to get any money from TikTok. That's why they told them they would ban it if they didn't sell their shares or you know, uh they either gonna ban it or sell them or sell their shares so the US could buy it and then be able to control it and also get money from it. So it's like TikTok came and just took over, hey, we the new gangsters, we're gonna take over 150 million people from your pockets daily, every single day, reoccurring, and it's only growing with time. We're gonna take 150 million people out of your pockets daily, and on top of that, you're not gonna get any of the benefits from what's what we're doing here, right? So they like, hell no, this cannot happen. So that's why they come in and you know everything that's happening, right? That's why the banks end up collapsing. They end up stopping to pay for the reels on TikTok, I mean not TikTok, on Facebook and Instagram, they end up stopping those the pay and everybody that was about to get paid, all that money is now you know, going back to them, like they saved themselves like millions and millions of dollars because some people has $50,000, 60000 $20,000 checks that was on the way of coming. But whenever they stop that or if they ban your account or your account, something happened to your account, that check that you had coming will not come. I know for a fact whenever they flag your account or ban your account, that check won't come. But I don't know by them stopping it. I don't know if this last check is going to come or not for those reels. But anyway, those guys... uh. You know, trying to get all these thoughts out. But that has a, a major part to do with the banks collapsing as well. And they trying to get, uh, you know, they trying to get all that money back or whatnot. But anyway, I'm losing my train of thought. Let me uh get back on track. And anyways, with the uh, Silicon, uh, Silicon Valley Bank guys, they basically is uh, in cahoots with all these... Uh, platforms that we was using before TikTok and now it's causing a frenzy. And why is this bank's collapse is something to be very, very much worried about to the average Joe. If you got under if you got under two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you is FDIC assured. You don't have to really worry about a bank collapsing and you not being able to get your money back. If you got over two hundred fifty K you just need to have multiple banks, right? And now you may say, okay, boom, that's out of the way. Your money protected. Why this is going to get scary. This is going to get very, very scary, guys, because think about it. Once the banks start to collapse and they're already losing money in that department, they're about to lose even more money because now people is on fear and about to go to the bank and pull their money out of the bank. And the bank need that money. That's where how they loan people out money. That's how they loan people out money, and that's how they make their money from other people that use that bank to store their capital, their money. Now people is in fear. They're going to go to these banks. I'm already doing this. I know other people doing it. They're going to be pulling their money, getting their money up out of that bank, and putting it in digital currency and putting it in cash and buying assets, houses, and stuff. That's what people is going to be doing with their money, and the bank is in fear. So they is going to be more less linear, I mean more uh, conservative with who they lend money out to. It's going to be hard for people to get loans, to get cars, hard for the people in the real estate uh, to get us uh, to get uh, money and stuff for their real estate properties. It's going to be hard to get money from these banks because they're going to be very, very uh, short on supply. People is going to be, you know, way smarter and way conscious with their money. They're going to become their own banks. So this is a bigger problem than most people can even fathom right now. And I believe this is the one that could possibly help them shift the world and we go over to a whole new space of what they've been trying to do. They like kind of down. I don't know if they really want this to happen, but this is something big that's about to happen. That's, you know, guys, it's big. Everything that I just said on top of that, jobs is going to be leery of hiring people. People is not going to want to hire nobody to work because they're not going to have, they're going to be scared to, you know, take on more people like, because they don't, they don't feel as if, the economy is going to give off the vibes of, of, of people spending. And ain't nobody, people is going to be, ain't going on trips. People is, things is about to get shaky here, guys. So you definitely want to be preparing yourselves. 
you know, ain't mean for this comment. Ain't want to get too off track. There's a lot that I want to say here. A lot that I got to say that I don't, uh, you know, that I don't want to go into. Because I don't like to hold you guys too long. So, anyways, like I say, guys, you know, be on your P's and Q's. Uh, prepare. But in the market, we we good. I'm just letting you guys know what's going on with the economy as well. That's going to uh, trigger the overall market. But we already know what to do there, guys. Puts. We're going to hit them with puts all day long. And, of course, it's going to be bullish moments along the way. We'll catch that as well. We uh, did over $1,500 an hour on GameStop today. Called it out in VIP. Boom, boom, did that. And also got out of Bed Bath & Beyond before it dropped down a bit. And then I'm going to catch it right before it ripped because I do believe that's going to be you know, one of the ones as well. But hopefully it can come down even lower and get in for an even cheaper price. So that way, I definitely know the bounce will be, you know, a nice bounce, 30, 40, 50% with ease if it could come down to 50, 60 cent first, which is, you know, it may not, but hopefully I wouldn't be, I'd be, you know, that'd be nice. But anyways, guys, you already know what to do, guys. Uh, You know, I keep you guys prepared. You already know what to do. Um, I love you guys. Age Boy on Instagram. Do whatever you got to do. We out and God bless y'all. We go.